We know Elizabeth, that small businesses are such a huge part of our economy and inflation is hitting them, Gene. Yeah, you know what I was just gonna say, and I'm glad you know that you asked that same question. I mean, if you're a small business owner, first of all, you're you're reading that inflation is like at a 40 or high, it's like 8.3% is the last number. That's the consumer price index. My advice to you though, if you're running a business, is to ignore the consumer price index and instead look at the producer price index. That right now is running at a rate of 11%. And I will, I will say to you, because I hear this from my clients and my readers across the country, that even those producer prices, which again, filters down to consumers over the coming months, are a lot higher than that 11%. Like, you know, industrial chemicals are up like 23% year to date, and, you know, copper products are up 15%, and the cost of shipping is up 40%, the cost of labor uh, is also up, depending on salaries and, and whatnot, close to 10%. So, you know, the 11% number of the producer price index is the number you should be focusing on. Also know that it's probably a little bit higher than that with some of the core materials you're using. And what that means, Elizabeth, is that, you know, we're gonna have inflation with us for the foreseeable future. I mean, if you're making your plans for the rest of 2022 and into 2023, you can expect to see inflation remain at the, you know, at the levels that we're seeing, maybe even a little bit higher.